brought to you by TELUS. Hi, I'm Mike Agarbo. And I'm Miriam Murtosh. And this is App TV. You know, most people probably think that uh, apps are completely information-based, you know, meaning they're about being inactive. Kind of like how you are most of the time. Pretty much. <laughs> and though that may be true for a lot of apps, there are tons that are about teaching you to be active. So today, we have apps that do it all. Entertain, inform, and get you into the game. It's all about sports apps in this episode. An episode with a sports theme in Canada means we need to start with Canada's game. It's the CBC Hockey app. And whether it's the playoffs, preseason, or regular season games, the CBC Hockey app has you covered. Pick your favorite teams and players and follow their progress. Keep up to date on points, trades, and changes to the lineup. You can even choose to watch a game on your iPad for a small fee, of course, or just get updates on the game each period for times when you can't watch. And favorite segments like Coach's Corner are available for free, and the content doesn't end there. Popular intermission segments are accessible, as are highlights and breaking hockey news. Be the first to know when Crosby laces up, even in the off-season. For the hockey fan or fanatic, it's an app that almost demands you wear a helmet. And this is just setting the pace. Whether you're hitting the ice, the field, or the heavy bag, we've got apps that keep you connected to your sport. And ones that can help you make the team. There's no I in team, and come to think of it, there's no I in app either. But that's besides the point. We're going to take a look at some specific club-related apps that will get you connected to your team, the players, and the game you love. First up, we're all Canucks. It's the Vancouver Canucks app for the iPhone, Android, and Blackberry. Keep connected to the team with news and updates, follow particular players, and keep track of their stats. You can also get game scores and game summaries just in case you miss a game. Yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. There are some awesome photo galleries which are frequently updated and a noise meter that can measure how loud you're cheering. And for a few extra bucks, you can get access to Sportsnet games, highlights, and post-game features right on your phone. The Canucks app also has an interesting little add-on called the Arena feature. This gives you access to the shopping, food and beverage vendors and other points of interest in Rogers Arena. The player cards are also a nice touch. It's just like collecting hockey cards in the good old days, but these are digital cards and they get updated with new info as the stats change. Plus, you won't lose these cards in a game of topsies or whatever playground antics would cost you your cards in school. Next up to bat is the iBlueJays app. It goes without saying that you get the live scoreboard feature with this app so you can follow games even when you can't watch them. But because this app isn't an official app, the iBlueJays app doesn't offer video. You can keep up with the team via stats and info, but not actually see them live in action like you can with the Canucks app. The player features are swing and miss as well. It's just bare bones stats and info laid out in a very plain manner. For such a dynamic game and team, the app seems almost devoid of any kind of excitement. Both of these apps will keep you connected to your team with scores and standings, but the Canucks app goes the extra mile. The app is on a serious breakaway with extra features and access to players and actual games. It's almost like being there with the team, but for a lot less money than those lower bowl seats are going to cost you. Well, this is the time we put the app back in athletics. From the field to the rink and beyond, sports generate celebrities and heroes like no other industry. And so, we bring you our Hot 5 Celebrity Sports Apps. We kick things off with a big internet personality in Chad Johnson, or the artist formerly known as Ocho Cinco. His app, American Football Ocho Cinco, gives you exclusive news, pictures and video, as well as rants and current favorite songs of Chad's. If you thought one app was enough for Ego, I mean Ocho, you're dead wrong. He has a game as well called Mad Chad. Someone has stolen Chad's pigeon and he ducks and jumps his way past sharks, crocodiles and quarterbacks to get that pigeon back. It's based on reality. It's repetitive and addictive at the same time, kind of like Chad. Moving on, we come to the GSP Mobile. That's the UFC and Canada's own George St. Pierre app. The app offers UFC updates and GSP news and info in particular. George also offers fitness and nutrition info, complete with videos of him demoing his recipes. Winner of the Angriest Icon Award has to go to the Ray Lewis Workouts app. Just look at that screaming face. This app has raised killer workouts and regime that'll really kick your butt. And you'll lie in bed every night, scarred with the thought of Ray's screaming icon and your aching muscles to keep you company. 
we move from the cage fight to end things off with the king of the ring. It's the Muhammad Ali app, which offers a serious look at the legend through over 32,000 photos from his career. Tap on images to zoom in, read anecdotes, quotes, and stories all about Ali. If you have so many fantasy sports teams that you've forgotten your own name and vaguely remember being outside once a long time ago, then you'll be psyched to hear about this next app. Now you can manage all your fantasy teams with the aptly named My Fantasy Teams app for the iPhone and Blackberry. Quickly manage and browse your NFL, MLB, NBA, and NHL teams with one easy to use interface. Check your rosters, current player stats, team standings, get breaking news updates, and recent transactions with a swipe of a finger. Do you have multiple fantasy teams in each league? I know, dumb question, right? Of course you do, and this app can handle them all. To use the app, you need a Yahoo Fantasy Sports account and an existing team in the NHL, MLB, NBA, or NFL. Once you're set up and logged in, you can easily switch between teams with a few clicks. Editing your roster is just as easy. With a few taps, you can move a player from bench to active. Keeping an eye on player stats and league news will help you make informative choices when it comes to sleeper picks and hidden gems. And if you think you've got what it takes to put together a winning team, or just want to show off your knowledge of everything sports, then you'll want to get your hands on the Battle Trivia app. Offering over 1,200 original questions in 11 different categories, this app will test even the master's knowledge of sports. Go question for question with friends, or just drive yourself to the edge of sports madness by trying to answer them all by yourself. You can break it down into categories, and there are even sports entertainment questions about movies and TV shows. The app will keep track of which trivia player is asked what questions, so you're always asked new ones. And you can save the game to return and finish it later, after the third period or fourth quarter. The app will even keep stats on who played and who scored better. To make it even more challenging, you can customize the gameplay and set timers to add some extra tension. So whether you're filling your halftime break with sports trivia apps or fantasy sports apps, remember to stretch and keep hydrated. Now get out there and give it 110%. When we come back, we take a look at some apps that can make you the king or queen of sports trivia, from batting averages to penalty minutes. That plus apps designed to keep your finger on the pulse of your favorite sports teams. There's a lot more when App TV returns. Welcome back. Just because it's a beautiful day outside doesn't mean you should ruin it with a frustrating game of golf. We found apps that might make your game better and make golf a more enjoyable experience for you and those around you. Here are our hot five golf apps. Let's tee off with Easy Read, an app that is all about precision. Simply find a flat and level surface, place your mobile device on the green, and it'll show you how your putt will break. The app can help you sink a few more putts and maybe even help you avoid obstacles like the windmill or the giant dinosaur often found on putting greens. Well, at least the ones that I play on. Heading on to the next hole, we come to Golf Logics. You have to sign up for the free membership to use this app, but once you do, you can search for golf courses almost anywhere. You can access aerial imagery of the course, get the yardage, and if you're playing, you can use the app to keep your score for your foursome. Next up, we have iSwing, and as the name implies, this app records, analyzes, and aims to improve your form. Just use your phone's built-in camera to record your swing, and then iSwing will let you watch it back at normal speed, slow-mo, and even scrub forward or backward manually. You can then compare your swing to a pro side-by-side -side right on the screen. Heading on to the back nine, we find Golf Ball Finder AR. Use this app to find your ball when it's as far as 50 feet away. Just point your device in the direction you think the ball might be and head in that direction. The app can then scan through virtually any terrain and it'll immediately vibrate and highlight on your screen when the ball is found. And before we head back to the clubhouse, we have SGN Golf. The app allows you to transform your phone into a golf club and swing like a pro. The accelerometer gauges how fast and how far your swing is and displays the distance traveled from your shot. That is, as long as you hang on to your phone. Not recommended for the butterfingers among us. You have a sports fixation. And with that sports fixation comes a game. Your game. Your world seems to start at training camp and end at the playoffs. Luckily, there are apps that'll help you even stay closer to your sport than you ever thought possible. Kicking things off, we have the TELUS CFL mobile app. 
As you'd expect, this app connects you to the team's news, specific games, player stats, and all things CFL. And if you're a TELUS Mobility client, you'll also get access to live streaming of CFL games and other CFL video extras. Push notifications ensures that you'll never forget a game, and you could set those notifications for a game start time or for the end of each quarter. Follow your favorite team or all eight. Next up is MLB.com App Bat 11, and it is the app for the diehard baseball fan. It's available for $14.99 for the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and Blackberry. But you should know that the app is capable of different things depending on which device you're using. Through the app, you can follow any major league team at any time, check their stats, watch highlights, or listen to play-by-play. -play. During the season, check your team's stats, schedules, and game locations whenever you want. You can also customize your home screen with your team's image and even see a pitch-by-pitch -pitch diagram while following the game. That's super cool. Once you open the app, you'll get a view of active games and specifically which teams you've chosen to follow. Tap on a player and you get all his stats. Check out the game day lineup and if you aren't in a blackout area, check out the live streaming of the game itself. Android streaming video is not available yet and the video that you watch in the app is not HD. You'll need to subscribe to MLBTV.com to access all the video, but if you aren't a subscriber, you can still access one live game at a time. But overall, the app is easy to navigate and ideal for the MLB fans on the go. Last but not least, we travel to the NBA Game Time app. If you can't get to the game or watch it live, this is the next best thing. Similar to the MLB app, the NBA Game Time app offers game day lineups, highlights, news, photos, standings, as well as a full season schedule. There's also a special playoff section where you can follow the rounds to the finals. The app also has stats and scores listed by player or by team across the league, and it offers video and audio of the game for a small fee, of course. The image is great quality, and so is the audio. You can also opt to listen to live radio broadcasts of every playoff and finals game. With these great apps, you'll be able to stay as close to your sport as possible. And if things don't turn out the way you plan, remember, there's always next season. Sports and highlights go hand in hand. Getting access to the latest sports video wherever you are is every sports fan's burning desire. And these days, almost a necessity. Here are two that give you all that and more. Get the latest updates and highlights from the world of sports with arguably our favorite sports video app, ESPN's Score Center XL. Videos are updated daily, so you have access to the latest highlights and news at your fingertips. But this app is more than just highlights. You get ESPN's daily top plays and summaries, and as you can see, the video quality is stunning. Select your sports and your teams to ensure that the info you're getting is relevant to what you want to know. You can even have a score ticker on your left while you browse so you're always up to date. One downside of this app, and of most others you'll find, is that it doesn't extend to the sports outside of the mainstream. But if action sports outside of the mainstream are your thing, then Empora is your app. Empora is Europe's largest sports video website, and this app proves it. You've got skateboarding, mountain biking, snowboarding, motocross, and more. There are thousands of videos to check out through this massive online community with more added daily. And if you feel up to showing off a little, make your own video and upload it. Empora is easy to use, as some of these tricks are difficult. Wow, don't try that at home, kids. Between these two apps, there's enough sports video here to require a visit to your physiotherapist after using them. With Android's YouTube app, you can take video with you wherever you go. Let's begin on your homepage. Select the apps icon. It's the button located near the bottom of the screen. Now locate and tap the YouTube icon. A confirmation window will open containing a hyperlink. Tapping it will lead you to a document containing YouTube's user agreement. If you're comfortable with its terms and conditions, return to the confirmation window and select the tab entitled Accept. YouTube will now show you a scrollable list of the latest viral videos. If you see one that interests you, tap on it and it'll automatically begin playing on your Android device. If you'd like to search for a specific clip, touch the magnifying glass icon at the top right hand corner of the screen. Enter as many keywords as you want, then touch the selection that matches your entry. A list of results will now appear on your smartphone. 
To view one of the clips, simply tap its tab. To control playback, tap the screen while your video is playing. A playback bar will now appear. A moving circular icon marks your current position. To fast forward or rewind, select and drag this icon to any point on your timeline. To stop or start your video, double tap the center of the screen. Some Android powered phones let you add a YouTube widget to any of your home screens. To access this feature, touch and hold your finger on a space on your desired home screen. A menu will pop up with options to customize your experience. Touch widget or Android widgets to scroll and select YouTube. This will automatically add the widget to your home screen and populate the top videos being watched. From here, you can simply click the video record button or search button so YouTube is always at your fingertips to quickly search or upload videos. Congratulations on learning how to use your new YouTube app. Endless hours of entertainment are now yours to enjoy. Up next, we'll take a look at EA's Need for Speed, an app that will take you from zero to 60 in a tap of a finger. All this and more when App TV returns. We'll be right back. don't just inform, they can instruct as well. These are the apps that not only give you info, they teach you to do something, and something athletic at that. Get ready to get active. These are our hot five how-to sports apps. Did you ever think your phone could teach you to scuba dive? Welcome to Dive Buddy Pro. The app connects you to full dive site maps and helps you locate good dive areas across the globe. Keep your dive info right in the app, including things like status of your oxygen tanks, weight you're carrying, water temperature, and visibility. Up next, get in the ring with Grapple Art Sweeps. Learn winning and devastating moves from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt instructor Steven Kesting through high quality video instruction. Step-by-step -step breakdowns are offered for 29 different guard sweeps. Our tip, try not to be the one on the bottom as that means someone is likely on top of you. Let's shred over to Go Learn Skateboarding, a combination of instructional videos and GPS skate park. The app gives demos on tricks and tips on skateboarding on the street, the park, or wherever you sidewalk surf. Check them out in slow-mo, multiple angles, or step-by-step -step to get a better idea on how to execute a trick. Next, let's reel in the Orvis Fly Fishing app. Broken down into five sections, the app features casting, flies, knots, top 10 casting mistakes, and fishing reports. The app can not only help you fish better, it can help you find out where to go to catch the fish as well. And lastly, on guard, it's the fencing glossary. If you want a better understanding of the sport of fencing, this is an app that's worth checking out. Learn the terminology, study and understand the equipment, research the rules and examine the techniques used in the sport. Then sign up for lessons and really show off. Hi, it's time once again to look at those apps that left you questioning what was on TV the night the creator made this app and why didn't they watch that instead. Most physicians, massage therapists and chiropractors would probably agree with the idea of treating yourself first and foremost. So if you take that first step, why not use a phone as your instrument of healing? That's right, it's finally here. Massage therapy for the Blackberry. You know the existing vibrate feature on most phones? Well, these guys have figured out a way, using their medical degrees, I'm sure, to turn that phone into a vibrating healing device. And for only three bucks. Now you're talking healthcare. It's all about high revs, squealing tires, and what's under the hood. This is the game where justice meets the road, so buckle up as we head into Need for Speed Hot Pursuit for the iPad. The third installment in this series asks the question, do you have what it takes to be an elite law enforcement officer? Because taking down high-speed offenders, collecting bounties, and getting behind the wheels of cars that would make the guys at NASA jealous is what this game is all about. The game features very impressive graphics and super sharp racing environments in HD quality. The game offers a few different approaches, such as Quick Race, which is exactly what it sounds like, a fast-paced racing experience where you speed through mountain ranges or cities in supercars like Lamborghinis. All you have to do is escape the police while being timed on your performance. You can also choose to play Career Mode, which offers anything from high-speed chase scenarios to street races. Earn money to customize your car while you race against other getaway cars and outrun the law. Or challenge your friends in a head-to-head matchup. Cop versus crook in a knockdown, drag-em-out, two-lane, pavement-pounding smackdown 
where you can bump, nudge, and smash everything on the road. The controls are simple to use and make the game fun to get lost in. You can accelerate to alarming speeds, perform 180 degree turns, nitro accelerate to even more alarming speeds, and brake. But who would use a brake in this game? If you're looking to drive fast and run people off the road, this game is for you, and real driving is probably not. quickly becoming an application development hotbed. And we are here today with Melody Atami from Plastic Mobile, the agency behind the Hockey Central Playbook app, and also Pizza Pizza, which recently just won a Webby Award. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're thrilled about that. Melody, can you tell us a little bit about Plastic Mobile and what you guys do here? Plastic Mobile is a mobile marketing uh, agency offering mobile solutions to companies and brands looking to enter the mobile space. Can you tell us a little bit about the Hockey Central app? Uh, the Hockey Central app was really exciting for us because we actually got to uh, launch that with the launch of the playbook a few weeks back. You can get stats, information, uh, tweets, all the latest hockey information. I know that you guys are in the middle of developing a platform where users can um, create apps on their mobile phones as well, right? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. The platform is called Umo and basically what it does is it empowers just about anybody to create a mobile application. So you go to a website, uh, umo.com, and uh, you basically, within five to ten minutes, create an application. You can customize it, configure it, you pull in your feeds, audio, podcast, video, anything you like, and you can have an application within five minutes. So, could I develop an app on my mobile? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you would, you would create it on our website, and then it would be, you know, you could submit it to Apple. Um, we're also coming out with a, a Blackberry version and an Android version, which will be launching in the next couple of months. So, where can people go to find out more information about any of your apps or about the agency itself? Uh, so to find out more about us, you can go to www.plasticmobile.com or you can uh, find out more about us on apptvonline.com. Great. Well, thanks so much. We're almost heading into overtime here, but there's one last app for us to share with you before the buzzer goes off. This one's called Super KO Boxing 2. It's a fun, friendly retro boxing app that packs a punch. You play the KO Kid and, of course, you want to be the champ. You fight a series of, shall we say, unique characters. Each boxer you defeat lets you move on, and each circuit you complete unlocks the next. And there's three modes you can play, circuit, challenge, and endurance. And you can even cheat the game by buying what they call Roid Rage. These are points that boost your strength to knock those opponents out. You won't have to pee in a jar once you win, either. The animation is a lot like the 80s boxing games it's influenced by, meaning the gameplay is simple and fun. And that's Game, Set, and Match. See you next time on App TV. Thanks for watching. App TV is brought to you by TELUS.